Okay. Back at it again. Now I believe we're on our fourth life now. Um, ooh, there's a new figure. That's pretty interesting. I didn't realize that last day. So let's see. We also just have the boys here. Stout, I remember saying you looked not so well. Uh, I also remember saying I don't really care. Lewis. Why would I want Lewis? I, I, I don't get why you'd want Lewis. Uh, Raven could be good. Uh, I really don't know. I, I'm gonna reset. Let's see. Ah, oh, much better. Wolf Cub and Pronghorn are actual, like, characters I care about. <laughs> Um, let's see, I want to get to there, S but I also don't really have anything to put into another card. I mean, I guess I could take Pronghorn's stats and put it on Wolf. Y y yeah, yeah, I could do that. Um, I mean, sure, it'd be better to just do that, just to do the moving thing. But I really want to get another squirrel thing going. Or I could do the minor thing, see what that is. Or I can just play it safe. You know, I, I have a bunch of lives I'm going to be using, so I'm just going to take this path. Let's see, we can increase the power of someone. Um, Stout, you're going to die, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think Stout is, like, just losing, uh, health points as we go along. So, yeah, I don't have any squirrel abilities yet. I do have a grand fur, that's nice. Um. And I also can use my Stout right away. Um, I really don't know. There's not much I can do. Um, Stout would just say, oh, you suck, and then I'd be like, cringe alert. You will kill him for sure. And I'll just tank the two damage because I'm going to be doing two damage anyway. Um, well, I'm going to need a squirrel, yeah. Okay, dude, I'm doing the right move and you know it. Uh, it's, I'll just see what else I got. Yeah, stink bug. See, look at that. Nice. Ah, oh, no totem for a while. Oh, I really, I, I think I might have made a bad choice here. Uh, yeah, I know how a mole works. I don't know why you don't think I know how a mole works. It's cool to have a mole, but I don't want to use him, so. Okay, health. Stop this. Seriously. Um, adding health would probably be smart to the bullfrog. That's usually who I do it to, because he's my boy. Okay, good. We're forced to get a totem eventually. That might be just a thing. Wolves can fly now. They fly now. They fly now. Um. Let's see. Um. I can just place a raven right away in order to start racking up that damage. Bruh. 
And then you had to go and be all cringe and whatnot? <laughs> Yikes. Um, well, the thing is I can't do anything. Um, like, at all. Like, he's gonna slowly kill the raven, but that's not gonna mean much. Um... thing is I can always tank uh, just tank a loss but that would also be kind of cringe in its own right uh, even if I get one I just can't do anything see now we have a bullfrog now we have now we're somewhere but yeah my deck is kind of cringe at the moment I'm not gonna lie to you guys Um, did anything happen? No, doesn't seem like it. No, thank you. I want a low blood cost like this. Oh, you made me eat my words. Okay, um, can I have a good one? Is this it? If, oh, if a creature that you own perishes by combat, the card bearing a sigil in your hand is automatically placed in its place. Okay, this is, that's bad. That's like an actively bad sigil most of the time. So, like, it's only good if you have, like, a high-end card, but even then it kind of forces you to stop having an opinion the game just plays for you moving is also not the best but is it better than nothing no I actually I think yeah th these those are both bad yeah I'm gonna take this path just so I can uh See, now they're going to be moving. They're going to be looking for guys who move left. At least now I'll have uh, three blood available, so that's nice. Okay, I know the play here. We'll end it quickly. And, uh, get in some damage right away. Then it moves over. The wolf cub moves over, and we are going to kill the wolf cub next turn. Of course, this also means I won't be doing much else, so... Uh, that sucks. Oh, indeed. Indeed it is. Uh, lucky draw. Yeah, lucky. Luck, lucky. Or whatever. Uh, I could use you as a shield because the pronghorn is going to just do it. Yeah, see, you see, he gets... The stink bug just gets it. A little bit of damage, but now you only have two damage. And I just realized how pointless that is, but it keeps the pronghorn in place, which is very nice for me. Uh, you only have one attack, so... You do one damage, which doesn't kill, and you're going to get killed yourself. So I might as well put stout down just for the sake of extra damage. Okay, yeah, this is not the best run, but it's not, like, an unsalvageable run. But this deck is already bad enough. I don't need more.
Yo, pelts are cheaper now. Uh, yeah, golden pelts. Uh, that, that can get me a really good card, and that's all I need. But what I really care about is getting a really good thing for my squirrels. Oh. Oh, okay. So this one's hefty. It's just the worst version of the already bad one. But now this is good. Now I will be able to collect cards every time I play them. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. It's it's not as good as, you know, infinite squirrel supply, but it still will allow me to have exactly who I need when I need them. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised if I lose and reset. It, it's kind of suck, but oh well. Yeah, this boss kind of sucks how he just gets rid of your stuff. But hey, at least I now have the squirrel who can give me whatever I want. That's great. I love it. Love it here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Mm. Yeah, because after the attack, you're going to move out of the way. And then nothing bad happens. Okay, yeah, I think I know what to do. Uh, first, I'm gonna place a squirrel, and I can get uh, the raven egg, will probably be the best one. Then I place smoke. Then I kill both for the pronghorn here, which will then turn around go here and we'll hit the pack mule and thus my turn is over it's a worthy sacrifice because you're going to be turned to gold anyway so I could stock up on a squirrel um, and I think I may do that um, but the thing is, I also know that my, this turn is going to end in death anyway, so like, it's not really worth it. Oh, thanks. It <laughs> even changes move. How polite. So, um, um, I think I'll get a second squirrel. So let's see, I play a squirrel, uh, as you do, and then I'm able to get any of these guys. I think I'm just going to straight up want the wolf. Um, I could just use the wolf now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. That seems like the best move. Uh, a lucky draw. <laughs> oh, stink bug. You have a great sense of humor. Um, I was planning on playing Raven Egg, but oh well. Uh, this is much better to just get all these cards right away. Yeah, nice. And it all works out. So let's see how I'm doing squirrel wise. Eh, I could be doing better. I don't know why I wouldn't get a squirrel at this moment, but okay. Um. 
um, so let's see. I place one for the raven egg, and then I place one for the uh, bullfrog. Not because I really need to, but just because I want to. Let's see. Bloodhound only does two damage anyway. So yeah, I'm going to place this here. It's me. <laughs> Uh, so then we place the raven egg here, move you over. Um, so now we're going to put a squirrel. Um, oh, I did not plan this out perfectly. Um, we're going to put a, oh wait, no, we put a squirrel here, which moves you back. We put the bullfrog here. The Bloodhound is free, but just because we can, we can go ahead and put the Alpha right here for funnies. But actually, that would be kind of dumb. Instead, I'll put the Stink Bug and we'll do this. Uh, why wouldn't I? It's just uh, two bad cards in there. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good. Nice. Managed to salvage it. Salvage. Salvage it. Salvage it. And we get a good E. Child 13, where are you? I have no words for this freak of nature. A long elk. What? When a card brings damages another creature, that creature perishes, and then it moves. Um. Okay. I don't get it, but it's not child 13, so I don't really care. I would have also accepted Gek, but he wasn't an option. Uh, let's just double check that nothing has changed. I will never understand what the point of the globe is. So I could get a better totem. Or there's uh, some strange looking new thing over there. Either way, it seems like it's best to keep my options open. Uh, health, two of the same thing, blood, okay. Health is almost always the best option because, I mean, six is pretty high, but so is most of my guy's health. Yeah, like, if I just get two of these, or even one of them in anyone else I win so health it is let's see cringe 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 ah well you win some you'll lose some oh wait no that's just the beast deck I want to check out more chances I want to get that specific funny one uh, flight or just a bug. I mean, I'm not going to use any of these, but I guess flight could ha No, because birds already fly, so I'll just get the insect. Nice, we got a squirrel. Uh, let's see what we got here. Worker ant, ringworm. Ringworm is pretty pointless. Uh, worker ant will be doing very little today, but I mean... I think we'll just save up. Okay then, insects attack.
Uh, we're definitely going to be getting a squirrel. There's no reason not to. I'm um, going to place a squirrel. I, I want to just plan ahead. What, where am I going to put my pronghorn? So I'll have him kill him, do damage here, and then he's going to move to the left, which will then allow him to kill those two next turn. But also he'll be damaged by the ringworm, which kind of sucks. It's going to be damaged by the bee and the mantis is what I meant to say. I don't know what I actually said, but it definitely wasn't that. I shall go ahead and grab you because I'm going to be able to play you right away. Uh, do I want to do that? Or do I want to place him on the right so next turn he'll do damage but won't be damaged by the... Yeah, I think I'm going to place him all the way on the right. Oh yeah, child 13. I should just get out child 13. Yeah, I think I'll just place child 13 down. Um... And then, yeah. You'll only do one damage this turn, but next turn you'll be unstoppable. So that's pretty poggers. And Stink Bug, I don't really need to do anything about you now, it seems. Uh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. Lucky for me, I have a lot of damage to hit back with. So, okay, now we're going to have to worry a bit about uh, the timing. So, I okay, I don't really have to worry that much. I'll just place this, uh, get the raven egg, because that's pretty good. And I think I'm going to place the wolf. Uh... Ooh, wait, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll place the wolf. By doing this and that, putting this here, you're going to get rid of him, and this will do one extra damage to him. But then, in order to get Child 13's damage, we're going to place a raven egg. Yeah, it was a sacrifice that had to be made. Well, not really, but... I still felt like making it, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I might just place a bullfrog because it looks funny. Though honestly, I might as well just place the stink bug. Yeah. See, you get it. It's a good play. It was going to end anyway, I just wanted to get the most funny. So, we'll just get a card. Um, Opossum's alright. Uh, Skink I like, yeah, but... I think I'm still going to roll the die and see what else I get. Hmm, Rattler kind of blows. Uh, Rat King also blows. When this card dies, you just get four bones which is like cool guess I'll get at her uh, I wish I'd gone with skink but let's see if we get the goodie turn everyone into bees that is hilarious I want that I'm not going to use it, but I want to know that at any point I could turn everyone into bees. Actually, wait, wait. If I use... Uh, no, I, I use scrolls for sacrifices. If I, like, use them all as shields, that would be hilarious to turn all of them into bees. But at the same time, I then would have no one to sacrifice. Yeah, child 13, you don't need to go through that pain and suffering yet, so... Uh, 
Um, we'll just take a look at what we can do. Um, Froghorn, because you're really good. Over here, I guess, because Pronghorn, I'm wanting you in the middle. And then we're going to sacrifice Child 13 to get a Raven Egg on the board, so we just have that already. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oof. Well, I'll place this. Uh, get you out for next turn. Sacrifice you. Sacrifice you. Put this guy down so he does that damaging thing. And then to improve our damage, we will do this. Maybe this wins us. I don't really know. I don't really care. It does. Nice. Big brain plays have been made. I can trade in my pelts, or I can try another chance at the great carving. Hmm. Let's look. I only have two pelts, but still, those are two pelts I could get rid of. Um, I'm going to have to face another trapper anyway. So, I would have to get more pelts then. Or I can just walk over, see if there's any teeth there or not. Okay. Um. Uh, let's think about this. Hmm. So I get rid of the pelts, and then I increase something for one of my cards, which will no doubt be good. Um, or I can get a completely random card, and then upgrade it, or get a wood carving. I think I'm going to go here, because I get the choices. It's all about choices. Hair pelts, I'm not expecting much, but... This is the entire reason I did this was so I could have a Kingfisher. I was like, if I get a choice, I will likely get Kingfisher. And for this, I can get another... Wait, what's this? When a card bearing this thing is played, a chime is created on each in adjacent square. Okay. Strange Larva, I've never seen you evolve, so I'm going to grab you. Even though having two Child 13s would just be so nice. Uh, that would also clog up the field a bit. Health, okay. So, uh, I could go for the funny bullfrog, like I do, but... Pronghorn is, like, just my... My carrier, so I'm just gonna keep upgrading Pronghorn. Hopefully we get the uh, that king fin immediately. It doesn't matter. There's a tree there. That's quite humorous. I'm not gonna lie to ya. So yeah, I could get the kingfisher, and I, but I kind of want to see what strange larva does. So instead, I'm gonna go here, put this here, and then go here. Um, you won't die to the bee. So, that's good to know. But the bee's also not going to be doing much to me, so I don't really know if I should care. I think I might just put you there. Um, and we'll just keep it like this. Getting a bit of quick damage at the beginning. Oh! Oh, this is only the second stage, so you might have died to the... bee. It takes a bit for you to grow up. I see how it is. Um, I could play the pronghorn now, but I want to see what happens, so I'm going to keep going.
Okay, I if you want to say greed, you can. Mothman, seven attack. Flies. You're just dead now. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize it was this serious. Um. Wow, okay, I guess I just won. I didn't realize it would just end like that, but that's cool, I guess. Is there anything I can do to just increase my wealth? I don't think so. I could play a Kingfisher who flies. Just for that little bit of extra bonus damage. Or I could play Pronghorn for extra damage as well. I think I might play Pronghorn in the end. I mean, you're the guy who, you're the bone guy, so uh, I'll just do this. Yeah, you'll do two damage, and then I'll just put you here for funnies. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I got that larva. Larva could be really, really sweet. I do want to place that kingfish. Cheaper prices, enjoy. Take one, okay. Uh, I mean, do I really need that? I can just do this. Yeah, this is a great idea. I don't know about you, but this seems like a great idea. The thing is, I can always just use squirrels to get any card I want. So I don't need to worry about the whole, uh... Using items. I forgot I had those. Um, I could put the goat onto something else, but really, I, there's nothing else I want to put it on. Um, I, I, yeah, I mean, I could put pronghorn on. No, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Um, yeah, so I see no reason to not go for campfire. It's just always the best option. Uh, more health, always a bonus. Um, so... Um, let's see, more health would be good for a child 13, I guess, but... I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like Strange Larva would be pretty good. Just to get more health on you. So you can become your final form. Yo. Yo. No, I, I bring I bring a, a a fresh fish monger. There's a difference. Yeah, so he's gonna be spamming those. They're gonna be looking for someone spamming all those. I'm gonna have so many pelts in my hand. It's so funny. Due to him flying, I can just plant my raven there if I want for free. Uh, but first, actually, I can just get out my, uh, uh, where is it? Strange Larva, if I want. Um, okay, this is a tough decision. So, I could get out the Kingfisher if I want to do the funny move right away. But also, if I die before the battle's over, <laughs> then I will obviously not be able to go to the painting so I think I might save the Kingfisher thing for next battle strange larva is an easy dub as long as I keep him on my side but child 13 has the bonus of being able to be used I think I'm gonna go strange larva um, 
Let's just hope he ignores it. Wait, I should have put the strange larva in front of the kingfish, but that was so stupid. That's stupid like you won't believe. But hey, at least my guys are gonna be going. They're gonna be growing. Okay, so he's basically assured death on himself now. Um, I'm gonna play a squirrel? And now I can get my child 13 going. Oh, but the thing is, he will get the child 13 on his side if I do this, so... I'll just put the smoke on his side, because the smoke is bad. Um. Oh, but I see I can't activate child 13 now. Oh, well, I have him out, so that's good. So now Mothman has arrived. You've died. And because he flies, that means that it, the second round has basically already been won. Um... I could play it, or I could just wait it, because the smoke is stopping him from doing anything, so... Yeah, death. <gasps> Die already. Wow, I mean, that's a bit rude. The thing is, we know he's gonna die. Like, he's already dead. Like, what, what, what am I even gonna do? Place a bullfrog just for extra damage? Oh, this is gonna be so satisfying. Watch this. Oh, you buffoon. Oh, that was such a good run. Yeah, that wasn't even close to me perishing, dude. Is one of them Gek? If so, yes. Uh, oh, it gets powerful from its chimes. Okay. I'll see how this works. That's the fun one, is that those rare guys always are more fun than they let on. <laughs> 